The Social Security Old Age and Survivors Insurance OASD Trust Fund is projected to be insolvent by 2033. Currently, the Social Security program is facing a deficit as it pays out more in benefits than it receives in payroll tax and other revenue and has therefore been relying on its reserves to cover the remaining costs of benefits. The looming cliff, which is only a decade away, means the program is faced with either drastically cutting benefits by 21% or raising Social Security taxes by 25% or a combination of both if Congress does not take action before then. According to the American Academy of Actuaries AAA, Analysis conducted by the CRFB found that a retired couple with medium income who retires in 2033 could stand to lose $16,500 from their annual retirement allowance. A single medium income person would lose $12,400. Those with higher incomes are predicted to lose more as they take home higher Social Security benefits, which is based on the 35 highest earning years of a person's career. A retired high-income couple could lose as much as $21,800 per year, while a single person could lose $16,300. Those who have earned lower incomes would stand to lose $10,000 per year if a couple $7,000 for an individual. The CRFB noted that although the cut for a low-income couple would be smaller and reflect a 21% reduction in their benefits, the cut would be a larger share of their income. Expert bodies like the AAAA have offered proposals that they say could help the Social Security Administration SSA with its funding woes, including a combination of tax increases and benefit cuts. It touted raising the 6.2% Social Security tax rate to 7.75% for workers and employers, which would yield enough to pay 100% of benefits in 2034. The AAA said in an October 2023 report, Right now, there is about 10 years to fix the problem Burt Williamson, a retirement specialist with Plan Prep, told Newsweek. He predicted that history will repeat itself drawing on a similar situation in the early 1980s in which a bipartisan commission set up by President Ronald Reagan delivered plans to shore up the SSA's solvency well into the 21st century.